Good morning. Today I will be teaching you how to make a barrel horse's breakfast, and more specifically, the breakfast of my horses, Racy and Java. Sounds simple, right? Don't horses just eat hay? Well, in the world of barrel racing, the meals provided to the horses are often more nutritious than the one the cowgirl eats herself. Funny how that works. Every horse has a job, whether it's barrel racing, cutting, or jumping. These different jobs have various athletic requirements of the horse. For example, barrel horses are required to run hard and fast, as well as sit down on their hocks while making a turn. Therefore, it is important for barrel horses to receive high-energy feed and supplements that target areas of the body such as the lungs and the muscles. Asking a vet is the best way to become properly informed on the nutritional requirements of your horse based on their job and health. Over the years, my horse's diets have changed, and we have introduced and removed different supplements based on experience. After consulting with your vet, the next step would be to retrieve the components of your feed program. On our farm, we grow our own oats, which are stored in the bins across the road. Using a 5-gallon pail, collect the oats. During the rodeo season, we mainly feed square bales, which we purchase from a local farmer named Max. Supplements are often provided to us by our vet, but they can also be purchased at a local feed store or online. It is important to store the feed and supplements in a proper building in order to prevent freezing and spoilage. First, take one scoop of oats from the pail and pour the oats into the feed tub. Inspect the oats to make sure that they are clean for your horse to eat. The next step is to open the core balance container and use the supplied scoop to add one scoop to the oats in the feed tub. Remember to return the scoop to the container. Close the container and ensure a tight seal to preserve the product. Core Balance is a supplement that we feed to improve nutrition utilization, improve recovery time, provide vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes, improve hoof health, immune system, and digestive system protection. To follow the powder, add one pump of Kenpresco oil to the feed tub. Kenpresco is a camelina oil that serves to improve the quality of their skin and hair, decrease joint pain, improve bone structure, help prevent ulcers, and also help with allergic hyperactivity, and it has anti-inflammatory effects. Using a wooden spoon, mix together the ingredients. Mix the ingredients well in order to prevent your horse from sorting and avoiding the ingredients they may not like as much. Once the grain is complete, we can deal with the hay. In the summer during rodeo season, this task usually involves me climbing onto the top of our trailer using a ladder and retrieving the bales from the hay pod. First, I would remove the strings from the bale and look for signs of mold or excess dust. Then, I would open the top of the hay bag and stuff pretty much as much hay as I can into the bag. If the hay is dry or dusty, my horses may require the water to be watered down using a garden hose as they can be prone to respiratory issues. Finally, we get to deliver the feed to my girls, who are always anxiously waiting at the fence to be fed. Throwing the hay bag over my shoulder and picking up the tub, I'd walk over to their pen and slide the grain under the panel and hang the hay bag on the fence. During this step, it is also extremely important that you check their water and make sure that it is fresh and full. In order to confirm the benefits of the supplements I feed and to gather some photos, I visited these company websites. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to learn with me how to feed a barrel horse.